Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with a new lesson and today we're targeting you beginners and we're going to show you how to change those chords smoothly. Let's talk about that. Real quick, we do new ukulele tutorials every single Wednesday and Saturday, so if you like this kind of content, go below and hit the subscribe button, alright? You can also get tabs with each lesson by becoming a Patreon. All you gotta do is click up here, all right? Okay, today we're talking about how to change chords smoothly. So to do that, all you're gonna need is a ukulele, brain, and attention span. You got those three things? Follow me on in and let's break this lesson down right now. Come on in. Okay, so today we are going to learn how to change chords smoothly. Now, by the end of this, the goal is going to be able to play something that looks like this. Okay, now many people out there, you probably already have the level of ukulele ship to watch this, but there's still valuable lessons that you can use because this applies to all chord progressions, even something that looks like this. Okay, so there's something for all levels, at least from a technique standpoint. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by analyzing the chords in our progression. We have a G chord, a C chord, and a D chord. The first thing you should be able to do is play each note cleanly. So that's what you do when you're learning new chords. We're going to make a G chord, pointer finger, second fret of the C string, ring finger, third fret of the um, E string, middle finger, second fret of the A. And we're going to play each string one at a time. That sounds good. Maybe sometimes you play it, it sounds like this, for example. And that sounds pretty good, but then when you play each string one at a time, you get that short, stubby sound, okay? So usually what's happening, one of two things. You are right on top of the metal, and you need to go back a little more. Or sometimes, another finger is touching that string. Okay, so when you're learning new chords, those are two things to check. Let's do the same thing with the C chord. Ring finger, third fret of the A string. That one's a little easier. The D chord is pretty common to get some of those sounds, so here's some tips with the D chord. I don't like to play with my pointer finger, because I think in the future, if you're learning E, this E chord, for example, it's much better to already have this habit down. Um, and it's a little easier to play, in my opinion, as well. Middle finger, second fret. Ring finger, second fret. Pinky, second fret. Open A string. Let's play each chord one at a time. Or each string, sorry. The word for uh, string in Spanish is uh, cuerda, so sometimes I accidentally say chord. Sorry about that. Okay. We got our three chords. Now the next thing to do is do the chord progression with no strum patterns, just the chord. Something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is the first step I do when I'm doing a song for ten thumbs. I learn the chords and I put it on the radio really loud and I do no strum pattern and all I do is just strum on the change is. Ch -ch 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 changes Man, we should do that David Bowie song. If you want to change the tutorial, leave a comment below. It just popped in my head. I think that'd be great on the ukulele. Okay, so just counting to four with me. Let's do it and let's go through this chord progression two times together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four, one. <clears throat> now sometimes when doing this exercise, you'll encounter some changes quicker than others. Now for this particular example, it's not the case, but maybe you'll see something like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
that's something to be aware. Um, and that's why it's important to know how to count songs, which will help you strum better as well. So if you want a link on how to count to improve your strumming, I will put a link actually to that video right here. You can click that right now. Um, or you can do it at the end of this lesson as well. Okay, so after you've done that fundamental step, the next step is counting and strumming each time. One, two, three, four. 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 One. <clears throat> okay, so we have now timed our chords out, and we have a smooth transition with the basic strum pattern. So how do we combine the strum pattern to this? The first thing to do is practice the strum pattern over just one chord. Our strum pattern is going to be a down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? Down, down, up, up, down, up. For the truest of the true beginner watching this video, think about it in two pieces. Down, down, up, up, down, up, but you want your hand moving the whole time. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. See the constant motion in my hand? Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Using my pointer finger. Again, truest true beginners out there, here's a link on how to strum the ukulele, and I'll even put another link up there to the five most important strum patterns. So if you are a true beginner out there, what, what else can I say about winning? <laughs> you got all the tutorials you're gonna need with this one. Okay, moving forward again. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna do it just between G and C. Back and forth, back and forth. We're not gonna use the D chord yet. It's good to build up these things piece by piece by piece by piece by piece. Um, an analogy for my Lego fans is you can't skip, skip any steps. If you're building a Lego Galactic Star battleship, you know you got to put the base before you start to put the towers on. It's the same kind of idea. So we're going to go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, change, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, G. The idea is that you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you're comfortable with that. The next step would be, and so this video too, if it's moving too quickly for you, the idea is that you should hit pause and get each of these things mastered to where you can do them very cleanly before you move on. If you don't have time to do it right, when are you going to have time to do it twice? Alright, so we're going to do the same thing now, but just G to D, G to D. And you're probably thinking, well why not C to D? In this song, you'll notice the C to D change never happens. We just have G to C and G to D. So it would be frivolous, a frivolous use of our time if we practice the C to D for this particular song. But that's not to mean it doesn't have value to practice that independently. So we're going to do G to D. G to D. If at any point maybe one chord is harder than another one, instead of practicing the whole chord progression, just focus on that particular chord and the chord previous to it. You will improve a lot faster if you focus on the parts of your playing that are difficult for you as opposed to the parts that are easy for you. Okay, let's put it all together. went to an E minor and I made a horrible nasty E minor because I was showing that this was the chord progression for Brown Eyed Girl as well. So if you want to get that one, I'll put another link below for that one. Um, but then it goes to E minor and everything fell apart. Well the same process would start over there. One, two, well get our E minor right. And then we start one, 
two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I would work through that change the same as we work through the other changes. So this is how beginners out there, how you can articulate your chords and really, really apply them better and change them smoother, even with more complicated strum patterns. Even though those were crazy, I would still break it down into the same tiny little pieces that we just did. So this formula works for all songs. All right, everybody, 10thumbspro.com. Maybe get a 10 Thumbs t-shirt. Skype Lessons one-on-one -on -one if you want to become a master of the strumming. Or maybe a master of soloing. I can help you with that. Um, just email me at 10thumbsproductions.com. Again, become a Patreon. All kinds of good links up there, and you get a printable um, explanation for all the lessons in a PDF format. It's either tabs or a song sheet, or in this case, some extra exercises. Okay? All right, everybody, until next time, rock and roll, love, peace, and chicken grease. All good, friends. Take care of yourselves. Cool, everybody, so now you can change your chords smoothly. That's kind of the first step in being able to play ukulele, um, or really strumming and taking your playing to the next level. Once you're able to do this, you're gonna start having some fun. Start singing some songs and uh, progressing into your playing, okay? All right, until next time, everybody, love, peace, and chicken grease.